What's the deal, y'all? We heard Miguel Roman. First of all, man, I want to say what's up to you, man. What's going on, um, bro? You had a tough fight, your last card. Um, they gave you the loss. Yeah. Now, what, what was that feeling like taking your first loss? Uh, definitely an eye opener. You know, I didn't have like the best camp. I didn't have the right. I had the right people, but I didn't just have the best camp. So, definitely an eye opener. Just motivating me. I should be on this card, but I feel like my mind is not fully, you know, cleansed. It's not fully clear yet. So. I would definitely be back in the next one. Now, I'm just taking it day, day, day by day. I know you said you didn't train hard enough for this fight. Um, what is some things that you think you could have done differently? Differently? Ma mainly nothing, to be honest. Mainly nothing. I just didn't have a full, a full camp. With, okay. with the right people around me. Now, the people I wanted there. Now, we know you were Swift Promotions, um, yeah. which is Danny Garcia. What was that conversation like? Your first conversation after you got out the way? Uh, just get back to the drum board. This, this, ain't, this ain't changed nothing. Just don't define who I am. Now, we in mid-2024. Uh, yeah. When would you like to be back active? Uh, right now, it was supposed to be tomorrow, you know, July 20th, but like I said, I'm taking time to just clear my mind and, keep, you know, still keeping the shoes, uh, the tools are, you know, sharp, but for sure in September. If not September, the next Taylor Garcia's, or if anything, under Danny Garcia, under car, on um, PBC Prime, whatever that, whatever that's going on there, but for sure September. Definitely. That's lovely that you're definitely coming back. Um, you took a, you took the L. You, you know a lot of guys take L take take off for like a year or two. Nah. You jumping right back in the ring a couple a uh, couple months later. Now what's giving you that spark in your back that, that keep you keep going? What's keeping me that spark is the people I have around me. You know I got a great team. I got Danny. I got Angel. I got my cousin Alex. I got Eric. Uh, Jordan and ma mainly y'all guys, man, because you know y'all been around supporting us Philly fighters. So mainly, you know, just the circle I've been around, the team I've been around, and that just motivated me to get back. Okay, definitely, definitely. So we're gonna go a little bit off topic, man. What you, how you feel about Javante Tank Davis and Lumachenko? I feel like Javante is taking over that whole division. 135, 140. I, him, it might be a tough fight, you know, because of the styles, the feet work of Lumachenko, but power and later on the rounds, I got Javante. Last but not least, Jerron Boots Ennis. He just came up with an amazing win. Go. Him and Terrence Crawford. Who you got winning, and do you see that fight happening? I definitely see that fight happening. I'm, I'm going to be honest, a 50-50 fight. They both switch fighters. They both fight southpaw, orthodox. Power-wise, they both have power. And I'm rapping with Philly because I'm from Philly, so I'm going with Boots. Definitely. Appreciate your time, man. Thank you, bro.